Adam Levine and Beati Prinsloo have been together for more than a decade. Access Hollywood is taking a look back at their relationship. The Maroon 5 frontman and Victoria's Secret model began dating in 2012 and attended their first event as a couple, the GQ Gentlemen's Ball, later that year. They reportedly broke up in the spring of 2013, and Adam was briefly linked to model Nita Agdahl. But he and Beati got back together shortly after and announced their engagement that July. A rep for the former voice coach told multiple outlets in a statement at the time, Adam Levine and his girlfriend, Beati Prinsloo, are excited to announce they are engaged to be married. The couple recently reunited, and Adam proposed this weekend in Los Angeles. The following summer, the couple tied the knot in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and the groom's longtime friend, Jonah Hill, officiated the wedding. In April 2016, Adam announced that he and Beati were expecting their first child. That September, they welcomed their firstborn, a baby girl named Dusty Rose. Access Hollywood caught up with the new mom when Dusty was just 10 months old, and she told us what her husband was like as a dad. He is incredible. He's been, he blows me away every time. He's so, he's in love with her. She's definitely a daddy's girl. She Aww. said Dada first, which I'm very upset about. <laughs> very upset. Um, but he loves it. In February 2018, their family of three became a family of four with the arrival of their second child, a baby girl named Geo Grace. Then, in September 2022, news broke that they were expanding their family once again, with multiple outlets reporting that the couple were expecting baby number three. However, less than two weeks later, social media model Sumner Stroh went viral on TikTok, accusing Adam of having had an affair with her and claiming he also asked permission to name his unborn child Sumner. Shortly after, Adam broke his silence, writing in an Instagram statement, I used poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. I did not have an affair. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period of my life. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. I have addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. He added, my wife and my family is all I care about in this world. To be this naive and stupid enough to risk the only thing that truly matters to me was the greatest mistake I could ever make. I will never make it again. I take full responsibility. We will get through it, and we will get through it together.